before I do start this video, I just want to let you guys know that I do have a giveaway going on. It's a mini giveaway for only one lucky winner. I'll have the link down below to that video. I have it in this envelope already. All I gotta do is write my address and write the winner's address and send it on its way. My first fave of this month has been this purse. I've I did get it at Walmart for a very cheap price, which was like $18, so plus tax and everything, so I had to pay like 20 something um, but I really do like it. It's really, really nice. It's very comfortable, even though it doesn't fit around my shoulders, which is, that's okay, because I usually have my purse like this, or I'll just carry it like this. Um, but it does come with a little strap so you can hang it around your shoulders. I really do like this purse because it is very comfortable. You can fit a lot of stuff in this purse. So if you do want to see a what's in my bag video tag, then comment down below and I will do that. One of my next favorite has to be Netflix. There's this show on Netflix that I have been really, really, totally obsessed about and I have been watching it and my favorite TV show has to be Gossip Girl. I am on season 4 episode 14. Chuck and Blair has been my favorite all time couples. I would like a relationship kind of like Chuck and Blair. Not the whole skeeving, knivey thing that they have going on in their relationship but the their love for each other is uh, ah, my favorite movie for this month. I did go watch Maze Runner. If you know me, I've been a Dylan O'Brien fan ever since some of his movies and also his first... Ever here since he appeared in uh, Teen Wolf, I've been totally obsessed with him. Uh, my love for him grown stronger ever since I watched The Maze Runner. Uh, his acting, his just his goofiness and everything, I just really like his personality. So I did watch Maze Runner this month and I've been really liking it, loving it. I wouldn't mind watching it again. For makeup, I have been rocking red lips since last week. I, I really don't know why I've been really craving to wear red lips I, I really don't know but I have been wearing red lips for quite some time now um, I am still trying to find my regular color red lips you know the red lips that will match your skin tone I've been on a hunch and trying to find for that but I've been really wearing red lips and the one that I'm actually wearing on my lips is I have two matched up. So this one right here is your Mon Monte Carlo Soft Matte Lip Cream from NYX, which looks like this. It's pretty dark red. I don't want to put it on my hand because it will stain my hand, but it looks just like that. So it's like a blood red. This one that I have on my lip over it is... The Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick Cream 740 Certainly Red and it's just your typical fire red that looks like that. The next one is the Kate Rimmel 107. I don't know where I'm going with this. And it's just your dark vamp red. Uh, when I put it on my lips it kind of gives off a not a reddish tone which is weird. Another lip one is if you want to go for a more dark nude lip. I've been wearing this Rimmel London Lasting Finish Lip Stay On Lip Contouring Pencil and this is an 011 Spice and it's just like your kind of your nudish nudish dark peak. For blush I've been using something that is more durable for the winter time and uh, fall and I actually have it on me right now. This has, it's like rose gold. Been really, really, really enjoying it. It gives off like a orangey copper. So I've been wearing that blush a lot lately ever since fall started which was like on the 22nd. Mario Badescu, I think I talked about it in one of my favorites. What I do is I do a whole different thing on my foundation routine. I know I did a video on how I did it but now I kind of changed it up a little bit. 
uh, to make my makeup stay lasting longer. If you do want to see my new current foundation routine that I have been doing ever since fall started, leave a comment down below and I'll go ahead and film that. I actually have the brush in my hand, but this is the Makeup Academy Professional Angle Blush Brush. I got this at CVS and it looks like that is your typical angle brush. It leaves great pigmentation on your face. You can, you know, blend it out. It works great. It it's great for contouring because you can actually get in there, but I actually use this for blush, even though it says it's a blush brush. So, I use this for blush. Uh, the first time that I washed it, a lot of bristles came out of this brush, so it was kind of a bummer because I don't like my brush shedding a lot though so that is my september favorites i hope you guys enjoy thank you guys so much for watching let me know in the comment section what is your favorites that you have been enjoying this month and maybe if i have never heard of it or i never tried it maybe i could go to the store pick it up and try it for myself and then use it and then come back to your comment and let you know if i've been enjoying it too the same way that you have so yeah, don't forget my giveaway that is going on. It will be closed October 14th. I'll leave a link down to that video down below. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.